going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to the Saturday Night Tailgate. I'm AJ Good, starting things off right here at Brawley Stadium from Florence, Alabama, where it was homecoming for the Lions. They were taking on the defending A-Sun champs in Eastern Kentucky, looking for the upset and their first UAC win. Lions taking on the Eastern Kentucky Colonels, the defending A-Sun Conference champions on homecoming. Here in the first quarter, first drive for the Colonels is Parker McKinney. The eight-yard touchdown run added two-point conversion. Eastern Kentucky leads it eight to nothing. Next drive, it's McKinney. Going to find Jaden Smith for the 46-yard touchdown connection in Eastern Kentucky in control early, leading at 15 to nothing. But back come the Lions. They respond. Noah Walters going to find his favorite target. It's to Kyrie Kennebrew for the 40-yard touchdown score. And that makes it a 15 to 7 Eastern Kentucky lead. Moving ahead to the second quarter after a UNA interception, it's Josh Carter. The four-yard touchdown run makes it 22 to 7. The Colonels led 29 to 7 at the half. Here in the third, it's TJ Smith. Rolls out to his right and finds Dakota Warfield for the one-yard touchdown connection. It's a 29 to 14 Colonel lead. Now moving ahead to the fourth inside the 10, Demarcus Lacey gets the handoff but he would fumble and Eastern Kentucky would recover. Next drive from North Alabama inside Eastern Kentucky territory again, but Walters this time is going to get picked off by Mike Smith Jr. He would take that inside Lion territory. That would eventually lead to a field goal. Now with the Lions inside Colonel territory again, Smith steps up in the pocket, gets sacked, fumbles, and Eastern Kentucky would recover once again. Now down 34 to 14, it's Walters. Going to roll out to his left and finds J.J. Evans for the three-yard score. The two-point is good, but the Lions would eventually fall in this one, 32 to 22. Just kind of, just kind of run over the game. I mean, it's offense. We can't go to the red zone three times and not score. I mean, that's just not winning football. So I mean, he hit on all the points we need to hit on. And uh, we know we can come back and put the hard hat on and come back to work. That's all we really can do at this point. Start off like that. Like that was a terrible start. And second half, we shut them out. I mean, like you said, great teams don't allow that. And yeah, we just can't do that. So there's just a lot of things that, that we got to grow up really fast at. And then we got to help as coaches, our kids to do that. But I tell you what, uh, we, they never quit once. So I'm so fired up about our, our guys. You're down um, uh, three possessions and, and to end the game the way we did end the game, fighting all the way to the end. I was so proud of our guys. Coming up next, we head on over to the SEC to check in with Tennessee, Vanderbilt, and Alabama. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life. Accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Great food is just a short drive to Heine's Barbecue in Lawrenceburg. Mouthwatering is just one way to describe the amazing flavors of the best piece of honey in town. When you dig into a plate of pulled pork, hand-chopped brisket, chicken, wood fire oven pizzas, and the menu goes on. Wash it all down with a swig of Heine Shine Lemonade and then make your way over to the gift shop full of Heine sauces, snacks, and more. Heine's Barbecue, Highway 43 North in Lawrenceburg. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow 
by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy from GMC dealer. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to the Saturday Night Tailgate. Now over to Knoxville where Tennessee was looking for some revenge tonight. The Volunteers were taking on South Carolina trying to get that big win after what happened a year ago in Columbia. Blackout night in Neyland Stadium as the Vols were taking on Spencer Rattler and company. Here in the first quarter it's Jalen Wright. Up the middle, breaks a tackle, gets into the clear. 42 yards later, he's to the house. It's a 7-0 volunteer lead. Still in the first quarter, down 10-7. It's Jabari Small. Going to punch it in from two yards out as the Vols lead this one 14-10. Moving ahead to the second quarter, up 17-10. And Rattler overthrows his defender, Kamal Haddon. He's going to take it 28 yards for the pick six. Tennessee led 24-10 at the half. Moving ahead to the third quarter, it's Milton. Going to find Jacob Warden, the Farragut product for the six-yard touchdown connection. It's a 31-10 Tennessee lead. Fourth quarter now up 34-20. Dylan Sampson going to muscle his way in from six yards out, and it's all Tennessee from there. They went at 41-20. Now heading over to Nashville where Vanderbilt was hosting a raked opponent within the league in Missouri. Commodores looking for the upset in the Music City today, taking on 23rd ranked Missouri. Here in the first quarter, down three to nothing. Ken Seals back into the lineup with a six yard touchdown run, giving Vanderbilt a seven to three lead. But back comes Missouri in the second quarter. Cody Schrader, one yard touchdown run, makes it 10 to seven Tigers. Next possession, Brady Cook going to find Theo Weiss Jr. for the 12 yard touchdown score. Mizzou led 17 to seven at the half. Moving ahead to the third, it's Cook finding Luther Burden. For the 18-yard score, it's now a 24-7 Tiger lead. Moving ahead to the fourth, Seals off the play action. Going to find his favorite target, Will Shepard, for the 31-yard touchdown. It's now a 24-14 lead. Now trailing 31-14, Seals. Play action finds a wide open junior Sherrill for the 45-yard score. Made it 31-21, but Missouri would go on to win this one, 38-21. Now down to Tuscaloosa where Alabama was on the road taking on Mississippi State looking for another SEC win. Bama trying to make it back-to-back -back SEC wins on the road in Starkville. Here in the first quarter, Jalen Milrow breaks into the clear and outruns every Bulldog defender. It's a 53-yard touchdown run as the tide leads at 7 to nothing. Ensuing possession. Here for Mississippi State, Will Rogers on the screen gets his pass tipped and picked off by Chris Braswell. He does the rest. It's a 28-yard pick six as Alabama now leads it 14 to nothing. Moving ahead to the second up, 17 to 10. Jace McClellan going to punch it in from two yards out. The tide rolling 24 to 10. Next possession, it's Milrow. Going to call his own number, steps up, and he's going to put it in from 10 yards out. And Alabama would eventually go on to win this one 40 to 17. That does it for the Saturday Night Tailgate. Have a great evening and great weekend. We'll see you guys once again on Monday. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.